Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to GNR Central and I wanted to show you guys a clip of an interview Slash did recently where he talked about something that we've been hearing about a lot in the news lately, especially if you guys follow fashion, is the big trend now is, you know, young kids wearing band shirts of bands that they don't even know exist or bands they've never heard, or maybe they've heard their song once or twice and that's about it. They don't know really much about the artist, but they think it looks cool. I think I always wanted to ask you is, what do you think about all the teenagers wearing uh, t-shirts with the bands, not even knowing the music? Is it okay for you? Are you okay I mean, with that? Or? You know, I mean, the funny one to me is all the kids that wear CBGB shirts. They have no <laughs> exactly. idea what CBGB is. Exactly. But I mean, you know, it, in a way, it's sort of carrying the torch. Mm -hmm. You know, people are wearing... Uh, it might be fashionable to mm -hmm. some, some sort of a statement, but in a way it keeps that brand alive. So, you know, it's cool. You can't get angry with people because they're wearing a, a t-shirt they think is, looks cool and have no idea what the band is that's on it. You know? mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> now, probably one of the better known examples of another rock star coming out and criticizing celebrities and kids for wearing metal shirts is Dee Snyder of Twisted Sister. So he put out a statement on social media saying uh, metal is not ironic dicks. And some people agreed with him. Some of his fans didn't agree with him. He wrote, gotta say this new trend of non-metal fans wearing vintage metal t-shirts is pretty sickening. Metal is not ironic dicks. He also went on to say it's not just wearing of our metal tees. It's the cherry picking of our style, the skulls and the metal horns. These are our symbols and our image. To which one um, of his fans replied, dude, we're in the metal community. We should accept everyone. Sure, they're posers, but at least their fashion sense is getting better. To which D said, well, there is that. And he also he was also replied to by another fan who said, maybe it takes a kid liking a t-shirt to start a conversation about that said band. And a kid has opened up to a new world of music they might not have been. To which D said, wouldn't that be nice? It could happen. Even St. Vincent chimed in and wrote on Twitter, I want to be the kind of asshole who sees a fashion kid in a vintage Metallica t-shirt and insists they be able to sing at least one song from Ride the Lightning, to which Metallica even responded to this tweet, saying, give them a break if they don't know the words to escape. Now, not too long after this, Metallica found themselves on the opposing end of what Kendall and Kylie Jenner for the Kardashians were actually selling. So he spoke out on the Keeping Up with Kardashian stars Kendall and Kylie Jenner's misguided business venture the previous month where they superimposed their own faces over images of some of the most iconic images in music, including one of Metallica's Kill 'Em All album. And then they put them on the t-shirts with a selling price of $125 US, to which James Heffield told Entertainment Tonight Canada, I guess what they were thinking was, we can do whatever we want. To me, it's disrespectful. We've spent 36 years working hard, doing our best to keep a really close connection with people and making every note count. And someone just throws something up over something that we feel, not that it's sacred or anything, but shows some respect. Now, the shirts released under the Kendall and Kylie apparel line were quickly pulled from the retail website after widespread criticism from those represented, including the estate of late rapper Notorious B.I.G., who ended up filing a cease and desist motion against the reality show Sisters. Other artists misappropriated, including The Doors, Pink Floyd, and Ozzy Osbourne. And Ozzy's wife, Sharon Osbourne, fired off a tweet to the Jenners in wake of the saga saying, Girls, you haven't earned the right to put your face with musical icons. Stick to what you know best, lip gloss. Now, following the backlash and removal of the t-shirts from their web store, Kendall and Kylie released a statement which apologized for their poor judgment, saying these designs were not well thought out. And we deeply apologize to anyone that has been upset or offended, especially the families of the artists. And we are huge fans of their music, and it was not our intention to disrespect these cultural icons in any way. And the t-shirts have been pulled from our retail, and all the images have been removed. We will use this opportunity to learn from the mistakes, and again, we are very sorry. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments section. What do you guys make of this whole controversy and this whole trend in fashion that's been happening? I do have quite a few band shirts, but all the bands that I have shirts of, I am genuinely am huge fans of and I listen to. I mean, I've seen bands who I hate, but I like the designs of their logos and stuff, but I, would, I refuse to buy their shirts. Like, I remember I saw a cool Grateful Dead shirt, but I absolutely hate the Grateful Dead. So I just didn't buy it because I'm like, it's just disingenuous to to wear something that you're not a fan of. It would be like, uh, could you imagine if like a Donald Trump supporter was wearing a Hillary Clinton shirt just because they like the design or vice versa? I mean, uh, when you're wearing something, it's just basically an extension of your personality. And it's really disingenuous if you're wearing something that you're not even a fan of or aware of. But I would love it if somebody would go up to some of these kids and like ask them questions about the band whose shirts they're wearing and see if they actually know anything about those bands. I doubt they do. But let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section and be sure to hit the like button and subscribe as well. Take care. Hey, this is Dizzy Reed from Guns N' Roses, and you're watching GNR Central. Yeah!